Welcome back to First Issues. We're continuing our conversation on listing a company on the stock exchange. Where in our last episode, we were speaking to CEO at Motori Securities, Martin Makake, who spoke on the importance of having a sponsoring broker when listing as an SME. CEO at the Botswana Stock Exchange, Tabelo Teole, will this evening be talking about the Central Securities Depository, or CSD for short. Essentially, a central securities depository is an institution that holds financial instruments, including equities, bonds, money market instruments, and mutual funds. The Botswana Stock Exchange introduced the CSD in 2008 to deal with efficient clearing and settlement. This was to bring up to speed the way in which securities were traded. In addition, the implementation of the CSDs also prompted the elimination of paper certificates and the dematerialization of securities. Maybe for the benefit of those who do not understand all this financial language, the CEO could kick off this discussion by explaining what a central securities depository is in the simplest of terms. It's a safekeeping of the records of investors' uh, holdings of shares they bought in the, in the stock market. And therefore, what, how, how it works is in such a sense that when investors buy shares, uh, the, uh, the number in terms of quantity of shares that they have bought is actually stored or reflected in the central security depository. Let us now talk about it, talk about its role, right? Um, how important is it in the capital markets? It's very important because that is a, a system that shows or reflects the number of shares held by each individual or each institution. Uh, in the in the in the capital market or in the stock exchange, it also reflect when those shares were bought uh, uh, and how many were were actually bought, and uh, it also holds very important information about investors, uh, who is the beneficial owner of those shares, who do those shares belong to, uh, who is this particular investor, and all the other information about this particular investor for KYC purposes. This was um, introduced to phase out, um, you know, physical certificates. Perhaps we could talk further into how the CSD has now, um, I don't know if I should say dematerialized um, a paper trail. Yeah, I think it have made it, uh, uh, it, the CSD have made it very efficient for the market to operate uh, because now all records are electronic. You don't have to be looking for your certificate to return it for you to trade, for example. You also don't have to be destroying certificates that are no longer relevant because people have sold their shares and then printing new ones to give to the new shareholders. Everything is electronic and therefore it is easy for records to be, to be changed uh, to reflect the, 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 the status or the current shareholding in terms of the, the investors. And also, most importantly, you know, uh, 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 certificates can be tainted, they can be swelled, and then uh, they can also be faked, uh, and, and also certificate can be, can be lost. And when you, when you lose your certificate, you, you, you have to be looking for it in order to trade. But when we have an electronic record uh, uh, like the CSD uh, that is reflective of the virus holding, it actually is because all the information is actually there and in, uh, investors uh, can simply come to the, to the CSD or to their brokers to also get a printout of the statement that reflects their shareholding. Unlike when people didn't know how many shares they held, they need to be looking for all pieces of certificates to really sh check uh, if they still own those shares or not. But here they get monthly statement that are sent to their respective emails. Speaking of um, statements, you know, a, a CSD and um, a normal bank have some sort of similar, um, you know, some similarities. So because of that, people think that the CSD and a bank play the same roles um, within the capital markets. Perhaps at this point, you could um, give us a few comparisons, you know, the similarities and a bit of the differences between the two. In all respect, this uh, CSD is generally similar to, to, to a bank in terms of the roles that it, it plays. It's only that a bank keeps money 
it keeps records of your money. But here, the CSD keeps records of your shareholding or your investment holding. That's the, 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 the big difference. Uh, and therefore, you know, while the banks keeps money and records of your money and records of your transactions, the CSD keeps uh, your, uh, your shareholding and records of your transactions in terms of the shareholding that you have. So it's actually a record uh, uh, holder for, for, for stock exchange, actually. This program was brought to you in association with First National Bank of Botswana. FNB, how can we help you?